A town is full of buildings, some tall, some short, some wide, and some narrow. The buildings are flats and houses and factories and shops. They're built in streets. The streets have cars and buses and lorries driving along them. Do you live in a town? Mary, Mungo and Midge live in this town. They live with Mary's mother and father in this tall block of flats. They live right at the top. There are eight flats built on top of each other. Mary, Mungo and Midge live in the flat with the flowers growing in the window box. There's Mary. There's Mungo. And there's Midge. Mary, Mungo and Midge have a large sunny room to play in. A room full of games and toys and picture books. Mary's always got something to do. Today she's painting patterns in her painting book. Mungo is making patterns too. He's printing them with his paw. Mary's other friend is Midge Mouse. He's usually very difficult to find because he's so small and runs very quickly. He's inquisitive. That means he's always trying to find out things. Ha, ah, there he is, by Mary's pots of paint. I wonder which colour Midge likes best. Red? Yellow? Or blue? I know what he does like. Music. He likes music so much that he's learned to play a flute. But he's only learned one tune so far. You listen. What are you doing, Mary? Painting patterns, Midge. You see? And what are you doing, Mungo? I'm printing patterns, Midge. Painting? Printing. Printing? Painting. What's the difference between painting and printing? Well, Midge, when you paint a pattern, you do it just once, with a paintbrush, and it takes quite a long time. But you can make the same pattern lots and lots of times by printing it, as I was doing with my paw. But supposing you want to print a different pattern? Well, you can print a pattern with a potato as well, or rather, half a potato. How? By cutting bits of potato away so that it leaves a pattern on the top. It's called a potato cut. Look. Now, if I dip it in the paint and press it on the paper, it prints the pattern on the paper. And I can print the same pattern again. And again. There. Oh! Can I make a potato pattern? I've just used the last potato, and we need some for dinner, too. Midge and I will go to the greengrocers and buy some. There's the shopping basket. There's money in it, and a note to the greengrocers to ask him to give you some potatoes. As they live in a flat right at the top of the building, Mungo and Midge go down to the street by the lift. They have a special way of doing it. Don't be long, boys. <laughs> 
we must remember to make sure the lift door is shut. But as usual, Midge was in too much of a hurry. He had jumped onto the back of a bicycle and was already on his way to the greengrocers. There he goes. And there's the greengrocer's shop. Midge waited outside for Mungo. There were lots of fruit and vegetables. What about these? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh they're onions! Ah, oh, what's this? Midge, you're looking for potatoes, not marrows. Now where's he gone? <laughs> Midge, those are bananas. And that's a tomato. Potatoes. But I can't buy them. Mungo's got the money. Where's that mouse? Oh, there you are, Mungo. I've been waiting for you. While you buy the potatoes, I'll look in at the shop next door to see what they're selling. Well, don't be too long. Mitch looked in the window of the shop next door, and the first thing he saw was a drawing of a black cat. Midge isn't very fond of cats, and to make matters worse, there wasn't just one cat, there was a whole row of cats, all exactly the same. And underneath each black cat, it said, Happy Birthday. Fancy sending a picture of a cat to somebody on their birthday. Then Midge thought of something else. Mary had printed a row of potato patterns, exactly the same as each other. And now, here was a row of birthday cards, exactly the same as each other. I wonder if this shop prints those cards with potatoes like Mary does. I must find out. Midge ran through the door. Inside, it was full of machines and men working, but no potatoes anywhere. Midge climbed onto the first table to have a better look. What's this? Stop, Midge. It's ink. Then Midge saw the cat birthday card again. It was standing beside one of the machines. In the middle of the machine, Midge saw a piece of metal with the pattern of the cat sticking up on it. And underneath were two words. At first, Midge couldn't read what they said. They were the wrong way round. H-A-P-E-B-E-R-T-A Happy birthday! Out of the way, Mouse. We want to print some more birthday cards here. Now you've got ink on your tail, too. Dum, dum, dum. The man put some of Midge's ink onto the machine. Another man put a pile of cards down. He pulled a lever. It made the roller cover the words and the cat with ink. Then the paper was lifted up and pressed against the pattern of the cat and the words. The birthday card was printed. But it wasn't dark enough. Charlie, it's too light. Could you put some more ink on this machine? Happy birthday. That's better. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The machine counted as each card was printed. Midge watched the machine print the cat and happy birthday on all the cards. The machine stopped when it had printed 50. 50 cats! Oh! That's not a cat, that's a dog. It's Mungo. Oh, I forgot he's waiting for me. Here I am, Mungo. About time too. Look at you. You're covered in paint. It's not paint. It's printer's ink. I've been watching some birthday cards being printed. All exactly the same. Cats. Oh. Come on. We must go home. That's right. You can ride in the basket. Then I won't lose you again. <laughs> Piper, Piper, read all about it. There's a pile of newspapers all the same. I suppose they get printed like the birthday cards. On very big printing machines, much bigger than you saw. We must hurry home. When they got home, Mary's mother gave Mary, Mungo and Midge a potato each. I'm going to make a potato print birthday card of me. Why? So that I can give one to all my friends on their birthdays. As you only have two friends, Mary and myself, you'll only have to make two cards. And as we both know what you look like, why should we have a picture of you? Mungo? Let Midge print a picture of whatever he wants. But before you do anything else, Midge, you'd better get yourself clean. Look, you've made footprints all over my best drawing book. Uh -huh.